Hello students, welcome to the class. Here in the chemical equations, here we have three types of problems. That is here finding the required quantity or produced amount we have to find out. That means simply finding the atomic mass. Then next one is finding the volume that amount of gas or amount of mass of a substance is produced. Here, what amount of volume will be occupied by that uh, substance that we can find out. Uh, and the last one is finding the number of uh, molecules. Here, three, three types of uh, problems are there. Here, one of the method we will uh, find out here. That is, the first one is finding the atomic uh, mass of the substance produced or substance used in the reaction. So, here, in the problem, just you have to find out the relation to get the required quantity or the used uh, used amount of a substance according to the atomic mass that we can find out here. So here, first of all, just you have to understand the question. Here, for example, I will take one uh, problem here. Here, aluminum reaction with the uh, iron oxide to produce aluminum oxide and the uh, gas sorry the metal produced in it iron so here just a reaction is given and a atomic mass is also given in the problem then suppose that you are asked to calculate the amount of aluminium required to get a 1120 kgs of uh, iron by the above reaction here reaction uh, equation you have to drop down then first of all just you have to check is it satisfying the law of conservation of mass or not that means simply it is a balanced equation or skeletal equation here the given equation in this problem is a skeletal equation because that a number of uh, atoms before the reaction and after the reaction are different for example here see the aluminium count lh side is 1 or h side is 2 so we have to make it uh, equal so put 2 before al and uh, put 2 before iron then it will be satisfied that law of conservation of mass so balanced equation 2 al plus fe 2 o3 mu plus 2 al 2 o3 plus 2 fe now it is balanced so first thing is just you have to calculate the masses according to the balanced equation so here how to calculate that masses look at here here there is a coefficient before al that is 2 here Atomic weight of aluminium is given as here 27 units. So, substitute the 27 instead of uh, its uh, symbol. So, here 2 into 27 units that will become 54 units or we can write as uh, 54 grams. According to Moles means just use one logic that whatever it may be the coefficient written before the compound or the molecule or maybe the element so that is indicating that number of uh, moles participated in the reaction so here 2 al that means 2 moles of aluminium so 2 moles is equal to what 54 units or 54 grams then what about uh, here iron oxide there is no coefficient before the iron oxide so no need to take any coefficient it is nothing that means 1 then here Fe2O3, 2 atoms of iron and 3 atoms of oxygen is there. Have you understood? I think here 2 into iron plus 3 into oxygen that is the meaning. Here 2 into iron. So iron is given 56 units. So 2 into 56 plus that uh, 3 into 16. So what we will get uh, here 112 plus 48 that is equal to 160 units or 160 grams so it is only one mole because iron oxide is coefficient with one then next uh, al2o3 here same meaning two aluminium atoms and three oxygen atoms so here 2 into 27 plus 3 into 60 2 into 27 is that is 54 plus 16 times 3 or 3 times 16 is 48 so total will become 1 or 2 units or we can say 1 or 2 grams so it is also 1 mole then 2 Fe 
2 into Fe that is 20 sorry 56 here 2 into 56 that equal to 112 here 2 moles because coefficient of iron is 2 here 2 moles is equal to 112 units or 112 grams so just you have to note this by calculating just below the compounds as you see here so 54 160 102 and uh, 112 just you have to verify this total is equal or not so 54 into 160 is 214 then what about right side 102 plus 112 that is also nothing but uh, 2 turn, sorry 214 here before and after the reaction that masses are remain same according to law of conservation of mass so now we are able to solve this problem without verifying this don't go for the solution if you do without verification that problem will be wrong information it will give you wrong information so that masses are verified here 214 before and after also 214 grams now the relation the important thing is relation we have to find out that relation just look at the question here suppose that you are asked to calculate what we have to calculate amount of aluminium so we have to calculate amount of aluminium based on required to get 1120 kgs of iron so here what amount of uh, aluminium is required to get 100 and sorry 1120 kgs of uh, iron so aluminium to iron is the relation so first write aluminium then next iron so aluminium to iron what is aluminium required so we don't know but first here according to the given balanced equation that amount is 50, uh, 54 grams is required that is aluminium then next what amount of that is iron produced what amount of iron produced that is a uh, 112 grams so 54 grams of aluminium participated in the reaction 112 grams of uh, iron produced then here required quantity we don't know but produced amount is given 1120 kgs of uh, iron so here we will take that unknown value something x grams here to produce 1120 grams of uh, sorry 1120 kgs of uh, iron here just uh, one simple logic I would like to say here according to the law of constant uh, proportion. Here iron 112 grams then after the change it is 1120 kgs. So how many times it is 10 k times 10 k times. So here 10 kgs if you multiply that uh, 112 then you will get 1120 kgs. So 10 times the 10 times here we will use the logic left side also before the change and after the change the ratio is same so 100 sorry 54 grams into 10 kgs that is equal to 540 kgs so our answer is declared that is 540 so we have to verify first so here just uh, you drop down the relation here according to that relation here take the cross product is equal that means the ratios are fixed so here the ratio before the change and after the change is equal so indirectly we will take the cross products so that cross product how to take here 54 to 1120 and x to 1112 so unknown value i will take it as x left side so x into 112 is equal to 54 into 1120 or 1120 into 54 then transpose this 112 right side then it will become denominator so here x equal to 1120 kgs into 54 grams by 112 grams that is equals to here cancelling easy because numerator denominator common letters are there 112 so 0 is there so it is easy to cancel that is 10 times so 10 into 54 kgs remains so that is equal to 540 or we can write as 54,000 grams so here to get 1120 kgs of iron we have to use 540 kgs of 
aluminum. So, the same answer revealed here. Here, simply if you use the law of constant proportion relation, just without solving, if you have a balanced equation, without solving, use the number of times. That will give you the answer. So, don't uh, forget this logic to solve the objective bits or it will be useful in your uh, entrance exams also. So, thank you. We will meet with the another problem in the next class.